Hey, what's going on everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And today we're jumping into the world of Deja Vu House, season two. They showing off, yes. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back, Pooh. We're about to get into some tea. Joyce, Kenzie, and Diamond. They're going toe to toe, blow for blow. It's to the point that now, Kenzie is dusting Joyce on her own. A walk up, a walk up, a walk up. Diamond actually shift gears with her wig and managed to get her wig back on. And then she run back over there and start a walk up, a walk up, a walk up on top of Joyce. Joyce getting handled in one of the worst ways. But Joyce, what did you expect? You ran up on original Diamond. Had you had ran up on somebody else, it may have been different results. Mm -hmm. Now, this part is really interesting because, um, Kenzie, I'm going to give you your points for what you did. I do think you were right for saying that, you know, Joyce shouldn't be swinging on these women, especially if it's unprovoked. She ran up on her. You know what I'm talking about? It? But, Kenzie, it is giving hater. And I have to be real. When you started to say, I'm the only trans woman y'all need on a show, she had has fake hips I'm the only trans that you need like she was going in on her more than someone who's cool with somebody would now reportedly when her and Joyce was going back and forth Joyce said Kenzie begged to be friends with her she said Kenzie you just got finished begging to be cool with me I feel like with Kenzie she's angry at Joyce and it's cool that you want to big up Diamond for what she has done for you. But remember to give yourself some accolades as well. So keep in mind to give yourself some credit. I understand you rotten. But it's interestingly enough, within the same episode, Diamond said something that didn't make sense to me, Kins. And I'm going to bring it to you. She said, I enjoy playing pretend with them, getting my nails and my makeup done. Kenzie was rotten so hard for Diamond, probably still. But the fact that Diamond said play pretend with them was giving me the thing in my mind that Diamond doesn't really see like trans women as women. She sees it as play pretend because she said it a few times, either twice or once. She said play pretend with them. Um, we can pre play pretend all day with the makeup and the nails and stuff like that. She said you should want to be friends with me so you can learn how to be a woman. That's what Diamond was saying to Joyce and I'm, I'm just going to say to Kenzie as well. You know what I'm saying? Because when you throw out comments like that, it is a blanket statement. You see what I'm saying? That's like if I didn't like kittens and I'm like, I don't like when they meow and I don't like them climbing up the walls and stuff the whole time i got a house full of kittens and this and that you bashing something that's around you sis and that's all i'm trying to say about it so duke is following around kenzie while she's going through her tantrum i don't know why diamond says that she's she should call the cops on joyce because it's like a domestic violence situation because joyce said she was going to call the cops on well she said she should call the cops on joyce because joyce said she was going to call the cops on gucci now this is where diamond and kenzie kind of team up because they don't think gucci I guess should go through anything if Joyce isn't going to go anything because it's kind of like they view it as the same thing. So they basically ride with the original Gooch. So we have two very meager scenes. One was with Duke and Mac late night downstairs at the bar drinking and rolling up chat and banter they don't like each other that's what it's given boom so the next day we see the whole cast go out and they're going to the rvs like the motor are they rvs or arvs whatever they said they're going out to ride the motorbikes okay so they all team up in a funny duo that they only show. They don't even show how the other people interact on the bikes. But was Joyce and Blue. Now, when Joyce and Blue got into theirs, Joyce is going off. But anyway, Joyce don't have a license. She says she in New York. So that's mostly like a, a public trans commuter state. So she said, I don't got no license. So Bobby like, oh, wow. So they in a car and like Joyce is bo 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 waka bo waka And like Barbie said she was scared for her life. She said that. That ARV almost flipped for a time and Joyce was like what <laughs> Joyce is funny though cause she don't care like in her little sands when people try to tie her stuff she was like huh <laughs> Like, it's so funny because it's like, Joyce, come on now, huh? What's going on, huh? This is funny. Like, I don't know. I mean, no shade. 
Besides her and Diamond, no she. You know what I'm saying? They carrying right now. For me, I'm on episode three. They carrying. So now we see the cast go out to a local pub where they're going to dance and drink their worries away after doing the ARVs. I love, side note, just pause. I love how much activities Now and STV does with their cast to fill out their cast day. I love that Now and STV is some bigger networks that could take a page from your book. Get into that, T. Mm-hmm. So when they get to the bar, that's when Gucci takes it upon himself to apologize to the original Joyce. Gucci said that's not the impression he wanted to make on Joyce. And earlier in that episode, he kept telling Joyce he never hit her. After Joyce told him he hit her, he was like grabbing her arm earlier in the episode. Talking about, let me talk to you, let me talk to you. And she was like, no, you just hit me. And he was like, I didn't hit you. I wouldn't hit you. So unless he was on something, because at that bar, he kind of was on the same tip. He was kind of like, I apologize for anything that happened. It wasn't me and things like that. They end up hugging it out. And Joyce is just like, yeah, because even when you said give her her things within five seconds, she said five seconds would have never been enough time for me to go get her shoes. She was being honest because she said, Gucci, you wanted to prove a point. And he did. Gucci wanted to swing off. And he did, yeah. So they do make up and they have a cute hugging session. Now, side note, did y'all peep out now on STV show Kenzie's confessional while Gucci and Joyce were talking? I thought that was shade for real because um, Joyce was intersecting like, yeah, I guess Gucci won't apologize to Joyce or whatever. Like that, just so she won't be so scared around him. It was just giving messy, messy between the girls. So we do see the cast partying in a club. It's a quick little glimpse at Freddie actually putting Asia's foot in his mouth and gobbling up on them toes. Gobble, gobble, gobble. You know, it is some men who just want the toes. I remember it was a guy who just wanted the toes, if you know what your homegirl mean. You know, some would say your homegirl is a fun bag, but he, he wanted to, you know, just feed. And yes, it was explosive. Yes, that's what I was, that's all he wanted. Team feet. Uh-huh. Team E. Uh-huh. That's all he wanted. What the what the toesies do? Uh-huh. Yeah. Gucci and Diamond actually separate themselves from the rest of the cast. And they go outside to talk a little bit about their relationship and what's the status of those two. So Diamond is just like, you know, she just wanted to let Gucci do his thing. It doesn't seem like he was ready for a commitment. Gucci, like, it's hard for him to see um, her dancing on cue and things like that. And Diamond is like, how I'm supposed to feel. Look at you in there with Asia. And that's when Gucci and Diamond spill tea. And I don't know how Asia would feel about it. Asia doesn't give me heavy-handed or too vocal, so we'll see what happens. But they, they revealed a joke with her. When they first met Asia, which is so crazy, because Asia walked in giving innocent and sweet, you know what I'm saying? And they was like, I place, I want to place a $10 bet on which one of us could smash her first. I'm talking about a little bitty Asia. Child, why the bet went from $10 down to $1? That was Gucci. Gucci said, I, I bet a dollar. That girl is easy. In Asia, it made me a little piece sad, but I'm glad I got to see it in real time because I always lead with an innocent energy. I'm going to be honest, especially when, you know, you're walking in to meet a group of people like, hi, how are you? But to know that it don't matter and they will still plot, I always wondered that. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I've always been a queen who reads or who, you know, smoking her blizzy in a corner by herself. And I always wonder, what is it about? Because even that reading books and stand to yourself, people will, will assume you off the chain. So, Asia, I feel you. Now, Asia really is off the chain, though. They assumed right with her. She walked in innocent and, you know, this and that. And, yeah, now, us innocent girls, are we off the chain? Uh, let's get into this, see? <laughs> she gave innocent class. You know what I'm saying? Demure. That's what I would say. She gave demure. That's what she gave when she was walking in. So that's what they like, and they placed the bet on that. Now, Asia, I wouldn't let nobody in, but I feel like when I'm going to get her, I don't know who. So in the midst of everybody getting prepared to leave the local pub, we do see um, Joyce and, what's his name, Duke having a conversation. And Duke looks really serious and he's like, don't show anyone that. I'm telling you now, don't show anyone. Like looking real serious. You know, Joyce, Joyce one of the girls plays all day. So Joyce like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, like that, yeah. 
I did it myself. Yeah, that's what she told him, right, girl? One thing he shouldn't have did was tell her not to tell anybody. The, what, what did Joyce do? Joyce ran and showed Melissa all Duke X-rated adult you know videos and she basically let it be known that this is how you know duke makes his coin but the thing is it's on a, an, an adult gay website so duke is saying that he's a straight male but all his um body part and escapades are on the site so joyce like don't play with me she said it's time for these men to stand in their truth and she calling them out so joyce keeping it real melissa is now gagged but Melissa, you're a little sloppy because even though you were so gagged and everything like that, Joyce was showing her the piece. Now, I'm, I'm not going to be blind to the situation because I have seen um, Duke's situation as well. I've seen Gucci's situation too. It's flirting around on X or Twitter, whichever one y'all want to see. So I will say, Melissa, I get what you're saying, but Melissa, Joyce was saying it was on a certain website. I think this is why Melissa, uh-huh, if y'all get what I'm saying, this is why Melissa ain't care about nothing Joyce showed her except one thing. Because um, Joyce, a few scenes later, is going to say Melissa's phony. She said Melissa just wanted my man. You, this, I want to tell this to ladies in general or men. You know, a lot of people, when they have certain escapades or they enjoy certain people, they want to share it with friends, whether it's this or whether it's a girl with a big booty or big boobs. They want to show their friends. And who's to say that your friend isn't attracted to that as well? Melissa scooped them out. She scooped them out. When they got back to the house, oh, mind you, when they was in a car, um, Gucci, Joyce, and Asia kind of had a three-way a little bit. But Asia was kind of thrown off and she kind of came to a little bit in the midst of it because she said, whose voice is playing right now in a car? It was so ignorant and electronic. It was just, it was a mess. Whole time it was Melissa in the back seat. Girl, they read you. How you, how you get read without even being a subject? Also, Asia, I think I saw you on a baddies auditions. That was you, Asia. Asia. Do what you got to do, Pooh. You made it somewhere, and, and that's what I will applaud you for. But I see you, Asia. You doing the latest things. Go ahead, Asia. Mm. Joyce calls out Melissa. She said Melissa was being phony. Melissa just wanted her man. So she threw water on Melissa because, you know, she can't run up. It's crazy. And Joyce loves to run up. But anyway, she threw the water on Melissa. That's when Duke was like, don't do that again. Don't do that again. And she was like, oh, what? Or oh, what you going to do? And this and that. So she picked up this big bottle because Duke jumps over the counter. You know, these men fast. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted the surgical girls, you know exactly what I mean. These men fast, especially when you get body. For girls who don't know and girls who do know, when you get body versus didn't have body, you do move differently. So she grabbed a bottle real quick and was like, what's tea? Because he had jumped over the counter and that's when security rushed over and stuff like that. And amidst of security separating them, they let Duke go before Joyce. All I know is Duke came over and punched Joyce right in her face. Melissa let Duke know that Joyce has showed her the videos of him online. He didn't want anyone to see those. But my thing is, Duke, internet is public. I understand it may not be a heteronormative woman's first choice, but even straight women could go to that web website. So if you think doing it on that website prevents anyone from seeing you, it's not true. Anybody can click. And I've seen you and Gucci without clicking. Mm-hmm. Yes. If you follow some of the bad boys or whoever, when they retweet stuff, that's what I mean with people. When you repost or retweet, we're seeing that. So I've seen I've seen a lot of this cast. I've seen a lot of Zeus people, child. Let's move on. So that's where the episode cuts off. We see Duke punching Joyce and gets Joyce down to the ground and is ruffling her up. Manages to get her wig off and everything. Snatching wigs. But that's when Mac runs up and wawaka knocks. Wawaka knocks um, Duke right in the side of his face. Cleared. Cleared. That definitely connected. Ba boom boom. Hmm. So he knocked Joyce and Mac knocked him. I guess Mac tired of Joyce getting handled. But you know deja vu house child this is what you expect so next week we are getting mac versus duke um i do wonder why are the guys so quick to knock joyce it's like you know 
that these are a different breed of men. I said these men don't play. But you got a little T in your system, they start swinging. And I do believe that. I'll be honest. I feel like with some men, not all. When some men hear that you are a trans woman, to them, they feel like you fair game. I'm, I still stand firm with what I said last week. A man who will swing on a, a trans woman will knock a woman. I'm telling you, it's the T that makes it, you know, feel like it's cool. And it goes both ways. I feel like it's some women who will play with the T because they feel like if you try me, I can do this and that. And it's men who will play the T as well. So, you know, trans women in a difficult spot. But my thing is this. Don't start now. Won't be none. Pop off. You know what I'm saying? So, it's going down. Everybody swinging. Duke, um, Mac, Joyce. Because Joyce was getting back up. One thing about Joyce... These men will knock her, but she will get back up, okay? So, Joy's getting back up and look like she ready to go rounds with him. Y'all stay locked to the channel, because this show, you know, like, your homegirl got to decompress after some of these programs. Y'all know me, I got to go out into the yard, I got to meditate in the sun. You know what I'm talking about? The sun in a blizzy. But it's been snowing where I am, it's been a winter wonderland. So, you know, I can't sit out in the grass and smoke a blizzy, I got to stand under a winter tree. You know what I'm talking about? I'm hitting trees with trees. Yes. So you guys stay locked to the channel. And remember this. Do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you on my next video. You stay safe. Stay locked to the channel. Bye.